Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. In this video, I'm doing a product review, but this review is a little bit different than the reviews I normally do. Uh, the reason it's different is because this product costs about $4,000. Now don't exit out of the video, there's a reason that I am reviewing an expensive product on HowToHockey. And that reason is because this is something that if you like it, you could recommend it to your hockey association, uh, your minor hockey club, your private training rink, your local hockey rink, uh, community center, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So in a way, if you really like this product, you could get them to buy it and you can use it for free. So what is this really cool product? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look at it. The product that I'm talking about is the Super Shooter 2. So what is this product exactly? Well, let me show you. It is a hockey net. Not just any hockey net though, this is the ultimate net. I've been playing with this thing for a while. It is really cool. It's so simple, but it's just a lot of fun and it just works on so many different levels. Uh, so what I'm just gonna talk about first is what it is, and then I'll show you what it does and why it's a great product, and why I think that this would be great in any hockey rink. So let's take a look at the product first, uh, a bit of a close-up look. First, we'll take a look at the steel. So this is your regulation size net, four by six, and the steel is the same thickness that you'd see on the ice. So this isn't the cheap uh, steel that dents and dings. It's made to withstand a lot of pucks. That is pretty much where the similarities to regulation net ends, uh, because then we have the inside. Inside the goal is what I like to call the hockey puck roller coaster. So this is basically an extremely durable molded plastic insert. Fits right inside, it's mounted to the steel, so it's really durable to hold up. And what it does is it returns the puck to you. It's such a simple idea and it just works so well. Uh, so it's not a cheap plastic stuff, it's not the things where you buy it, you use it for a year and it breaks. This is made to be put in a hockey rink and have hundreds of thousands of shots taken at it and uh, keep people shooting the puck so they don't have to keep on getting them. Uh, it sounds so simple, but there's actually a lot of different training purposes that you can use it for, and I'll show you when I'm using it, and I'll show you that really quickly. Before I start firing pucks at this thing, I just want to show you what it looks like from behind, because I think it looks really sweet. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a water park or a roller coaster or something like that for pucks. Uh, so what you get here is the uh, plastic tubes, I guess you call them, the front plate there, and it's connected to the uh, goal post that you see at the front. So what you don't get is all this stuff here. This is just the surround. So this was all built around the super shooter just to keep pucks from flying everywhere and, and damaging things. And that is optional if you wanna get one. Uh, I think you can get it off the website as well. Okay, let's talk about what type of skills you're gonna develop besides just your shot. So. Uh, I'm going to show you two shots of the super shooter. So this is me shooting and then we'll look at the super shooter as well. So the obvious ones we're working on here are accuracy and power. You, know, you have to have your head up, you have to look where you're shooting, you have to hit the target, and you have to have a little bit of power to get it to pop out the other side. So those are ones that are instantly going to be training. Uh, the thing that I really liked about it was sort of like the mental side, because whenever I hit the target, I got the puck back and it was kind of like a little reward. So you, you, you get instant gratification when you hit the target and that's sort of like training on another level. Uh, you know, you're training physically, but you also got that instant reward right when you hit the target. So I really liked that uh, portion of the training. So besides accuracy and power and your shot, we're also working on being ready to get the puck right away. So, you know, in a rebound situation, you got the, looking at the net, watching the puck come back and trying to get that puck. Uh, also working on receiving the puck and then shooting it quickly. So you get the puck, head up, look for a spot and then shoot the puck. And, you know, we can train a little bit harder by purposely focusing on this. So this is just me going five hole. Also getting the puck to a good shooting position. So I kicked it up to my stick right there. Uh, so a number of different things right there. Also one that I really liked was hand-eye coordination. So just tracking the puck with my stick so I can you know bat it down, get it to where I need to shoot it again, and then get that other shot on net. So if you uh, watch this one right here, you can see I batted that one right out of the air. So lots of different things we're working on here besides just shooting, really like the product. All right, that wraps up the review for the Super Shooter 2. Probably the first time that I spent two hours reviewing a single product, uh, but that's because I spent about an hour and a half just shooting pucks at the thing. It's kind of crazy how much fun it is because it's so simple. If you hit the target, puck comes back on your stick and you get to keep on shooting. Uh, it's weird, you get into this kind of flow where you just zone out and you're just shooting pucks and you just forget about time. You just keep shooting and shooting and sniping targets and getting the puck and shooting again. And it's really cool how many things you actually get to work on. It's not just shooting the puck. It's you know all those things that I mentioned. You're tracking the puck, you're stopping the puck, you're batting it out of midair sometimes, you're moving, you know, you're watching. So there's all kinds of things that you can work on. 
uh, besides just improving your shot. Really do recommend this product, especially if you run a training center or if you go to a training center, you know, grab this video, send it to them. Uh, send it to your minor hockey association, send it to anybody who might buy this product where you can use it for free. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching the view, review guys. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel, howtohockey.com. And also check out thehockeymovement.com. Uh, I'll put a link right down here. I do new hockey videos every single week. Thanks for watching the videos. I'll see you in the next one.